Are you ready for the ultimate clubbing fragrance list? The best monumental list you can have in your arsenal on YouTube? Well, let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto these 10 club bangers. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I mean, these are the fragrances that you are going to wear tonight. All 10 of them. Layer them if you want. These are the type of fragrances that you're going to dance your ass off. And you're going to pick up Shorty, who's been dancing all night, who came in with straight hair, and now it's all curly and frizzy, because she's about that dance floor life. She's like, fuck all this shit. My body is looking ill. The four and a half stent at the salon was worth it. I spent $800 on my hair, and now it went to shit in 25 minutes, because I'm finding Mr. Right or Mr. Right now. These are the fragrances that you are going to wear to impress her. And not only impress her, you gotta impress the friend she came with because you don't get the pass unless they see what you about. You need to go through them to get to her. And hopefully these fragrances can at least help with the ice breaking portion of that conversation. Like, damn, you do smell nice though, although your game is whack and shit. Let's start off, cause these are in no particular order. Let's go for the budget flexor. Cause you know you're gonna end up spending money on the telly. So hopefully you saved the buck on your fragrance and wanted to go with Aventus, but went with Club de Nuit Intense instead. Cheap and one of the best clones for a Creed Aventus in the game. Absolutely groundbreaking, delicious, mass appealing, will handle all the clubby sweats, and you're not gonna smell like a bag of sour oranges at the end of the night, but you will smell like BO because you didn't secure your degree. Next one, an oldie but a goodie. There isn't a man watching this channel that hasn't encountered this fragrance at least twice or three times or doesn't already own this, but this was a clubbing staple. This was the go-to fragrance to wear back in the day and should get some notice now because it is not dated at all, and that's Tur d'Hermes by Hermes. The jumbo bottle, about the size of my head, and clearly, I've put a dent in it. This citrusy vetiver monster is mass appeal perfection for those musty, dusty nights at the club, bar, or lounge, or rooftop. This performs outstanding, has that mass appeal, sexy vibe that you want, and will handle the heat that you're going to produce off of your pores, because you're gonna be on some <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna get all those vibes and you're still gonna smell delicious. Next one. There's a lot of spots that are like by the water and shit with that beautiful view. You're trying to chill, like the throwback, the marina. Jay-Z rapped about it. Motherfuckers used to pull up in boats and yachts and shit and just dock and just be parlaying on the spot, smoking hookah and shit. So you need something a little fresh and sexy. So let's throw a little chrome pure Azaro joint over here because this motherfucker is really nice and not too expensive. Powdery, sexy, citrusy, mass appeal, definitely a snuggle like, damn, buy what you wear and be like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. I'll tell you tonight. The aquatic citrusy vibe that this fragrance have along with that powdery nuance gives it a beautiful sex appeal, very bright, very airy, perfect for the warm weather, and this is definitely that clubbing type shit. Next one. This one's a little bit more mature. This is like the after work party, but it's still that club scenario. That's when you loosen up the tie a little bit and lay the dangle right there in the middle of your chest. Those top buttons start getting loose, and that sports coat starts falling a little bit off the shoulders. That's when you pull out that Armani code absolute. I love the bird to the roots sweet and sexy mass appeal performance animal does phenomenal on my skin about eight and a half hours definitely has that citrusy dark sexy sweet vibe that you're looking for in a fragrance with the performance of a viagra pill this is a phenomenal clubbing scent. not even hookah smoke will penetrate the delicious sweet tonka -y vibes from this fragrance i promise you next one this one is like stamped in the legendary club fragrance game, but this is the best version of this fragrance, and that's Chanel Boo de Chanel Parfum. For me, this is the most mature, this is the best, best performance, and if you're looking for that mass appeal, sexy ass fragrance, you're going to get this concentration, the Parfum one. 
more mature, sexier, it's got more depth, it's got amazing performance, and just smells stellar. This is like a signature clubbing piece. You already probably have the EDT version, but you need to step up a couple of notches and get yourself the Parfum. It makes all the difference in the world. Next one. If you in a spot with a lot of Latinos around, or at least me that has a bunch of Dominican dudes who be wearing Gucci belts with a Versace shirt and Louis Vuitton loafers with no socks, you're definitely wearing Versace Al Fresh. Doesn't matter what season, there was like six and a half inches of snow and motherfuckers were still out with loafers and no socks on. What are you going to do? Why are your pants hemmed up seven inches above your ankles? I don't get it. Are we walking pants or capris? Doesn't matter. It's a little bit of a fuckboy fragrance. Not something I personally would pick, but I can't negate the fact that it's a phenomenal clubbing fragrance. It is a staple piece with my Latinos in the hood. A lot of people love this fragrance and used to wear it at nauseum. It still works. It's a phenomenal summertime fragrance with massive appeal quality, super bright, very aquatic, very sexy for those who are not exhausted of this fragrance. So if you don't have anyone around you wearing this fragrance, you're going to stand out and get massive amount of compliments. Next one. I picked this version of this flanker because this is also a monster, but performs outstanding. It's in that blue space. And this Ambroxan bomb is just all the rage because everybody knows Dior Sauvage only. This is the perfume. It just works performance, don't ask any questions. Just buy the Parfum version and go out and have a great time. Just hold your wallet a little bit close because Shorty's definitely gonna pick your pockets. Next one. Bye, so bye, I boy. Ay, so bye, I boy. You, you gotta break down a little bit of Spanish. Una bachadica, una salsita, un merenguito. You're gonna pull out Versace de Lim Blue Bubble. Sweet, sexy, super aquatic, a little bit of a peppery vibe. There's some subtle little like incense -y vibe in here. Very fuckboyish also, but it works. I mean, women like what they like. They're not necessarily looking for the label of your fragrance. You're not gonna walk around in the club like this is what I'm wearing. Confidence that you exude walking into the spot and on the dance floor is gonna help determine how she's gonna approach you or how you're gonna approach her. And obviously, as long as you don't smell like 14 Greeks in a sauna, Smelling delicious is very important. So these are steps that you're going to take a combination of them to bag up that number or get the Instagram or DM or whatever the fuck you guys do nowadays for you single fucks. I'm living vicariously through you. Fuck. Next one. I like this one because it has a mass appeal quality. Another bergamot bomb because all these are like bergamot bombs, but this one has a little bit of a gingery essence. And again, one of the better versions in the flanker. Not saying this one is the best because I haven't tried them all, but it's definitely the best that I've tried and this is Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum has that dark gradient going into that lightness. So this one has that apple bergamot vibes. It's a little bit gingery, so it has a little bit of an airy spice to it. Beautiful mass appeal qualities and definitely in that blue aquatic bergamot space. As opposed to the regular Y, I feel this one is the more mature. So the original Y for me is like 18 a party, 21 a drink. This one is like 25 plus. I'm stepping into it. I'm trying to get into some fancier shit. I don't want to just get the regular shit that all the young bucks have. I want something a little bit more mature and to separate me for the rest. Just like in conversation and attracting the opposite it's sex or the same sex whatever sex as long as you have sex this is one of the fragrances that can definitely help enhance your already natural sexual being and last and certainly not least now a signature would be Dolce Gabbana's the one which is still phenomenal but now that I've gotten this one I think this one will supersede that one because this is the Eau de Parfum intense version if I'm not mistaken and that's Dolce Gabbana's the one full blackout bottle black and gold baby Ugh. Super sexy, close encounter, definitely more for the colder weather, but has a great versatility about it. It's a little bit balsamic, it's woody, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's date night vibes. This is kind of transitioning from the club to the diner that's open 24 hours that you're gonna get some disco fries or something super fatty. And then you can judge what kind of rapport you have. Cause once you see a hot, hot chick eat a sloppy ass meal, if she starts digging into the salad, you know she's gonna be a little bit of prissy, a pain in the ass. But if she starts fucking up a burger with you at 4.30 a.m., that might be future wifey. And don't Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum Intense, might be the fragrance to find your one and true love at the club. So these are the signature best 10 fragrances that you can bag up and wear for the club, bar and lounge, rooftop, whatever social atmosphere is going at the drop of the sun. I love y'all motherfuckers to the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game, Smooches.
Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tag. When it's time to call back uh, for the rough brother than raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you.